Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. I also like to support the statement by Senator Boni Kaluare. Indeed, people like Lawrence Sifuna, Jido Matiba, Charles Lobia, and the rest did shape the history and the destiny of this country. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the spirit of the demise of uh, Lawrence Sifuna, who has been uh, fortunately survived by a very strong politician in the name of Edwin Sifuna, with whom I sit in one committee, his commitment to liberate this country, irregardless of the party position he holds, Mr. Speaker, sir, is something that we as senators are very proud of. Mr. Speaker, sir, having said that, it is also indeed very important that we note there are politicians who need to learn from the likes of Roland Sifuna, those who wait until the president is out of the way, out of the country, and then they list national assets and put them for sale. Mr. Speaker, sir, we want to urge these leaders who sit near the, the, the hive offices that it's important to know that it cannot, and we cannot accept them, to put such an important national heritage, like the, KC, the KICC, for sale. Mr. Speaker, sir, I want today to add my voice. I want to join the likes of uh, Lowland Sifuna. I want to join the likes of uh, uh, Koigo Amwere, that we cannot let a few people take, the, take it for granted that they can do or live what they want to do in this country. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is becoming quite unfortunate that a few individuals, Mr. Speaker, sir, whom we've worked with so hard and promising the Kenyans that we'll ensure the cost of living comes down, Mr. Speaker, sir, Instead of them working with us in tandem, they are going and auctioning anything that they can lay their hand on. This we must stand as a house and oppose. Mr. Speaker, sir, today I want to stand in the same spirit of Lowland Sifuna and say this country belongs to all of us. It cannot take our parents so many years to put things where they are today, and then we get to here, Mr. Speaker, sir, people bought edible oil that is toxic, they spent billions of shillings, this cannot be sold. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is time that we call these people and tell them enough is enough and they must stop. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is such a moment when we are given an opportunity to reflect on the things that are happening in this country, that we ask ourselves, are some of these people serious? Mr. Speaker, sir, just the other day, I led a statement from none other than one of our colleagues who's been sitting in this house, a Minister of Infrastructure and Transport, saying that centers, cars that have been bought by hustlers, that they should be banned from the road. Mr. Speaker, sir, I ask, are we losing our senses, Mr. Speaker, sir? When must we realize that we must work for Kenyans? Mr. Speaker, sir, in the same spirit of Lowland Sifuna, I want to tell Kenyans that yes, we must stand up and we will not let anybody take advantage of you. We are going to pursue justice until we bring it to the logical conclusion. Because this is the spirit, Mr. Speaker, sir, when we are gone like Lowland Sifuna is gone, we want somebody to stand in this out and say, he stood as a senator and stood for the justice of the people. I start to be counted as those who will fight for the justice of the people, illegal address of the people who are pushing and waiting only when the president is away of the country they put national assets for sale it is unacceptable mr speaker sir and i urge my colleagues to stand up and oppose this thank you mr speaker sir